simple integral what is double integral and what about line and surface integrals there is also a triple integrals let's understand what they mean a simple integral is evaluated along the x axis here you can calculate the area of this graph by summing up infinite pieces of vertical lines under the domain of x axis this is done by simple integration with respect to x axis you can also find the area of this graph using double integral but this time unlike vertical lines you would sum up every small pieces of rectangle in double integral the points which go into the evaluation of the integration come from both x and y coordinates so the domain of integration comes from a 2d planar surface now a line integral generalizes the idea of a simple integral in a line integral the curve along which the integral is evaluated is not necessarily a x axis or y axis or even a straight line it can be any curve lying in higher dimensional space if the curve lies in a x y plane line integral of a scalar function can gives the area of a 3d surface We can evaluate the line integral by expressing the curve C in parametric form in terms of a parameter t. Geometrically, this is equivalent to stretching the curve into a straight line on the t-axis. This reduces the line integral into a simple integral in term of variable t. a surface integral extends the idea of double integral to a general surface we already know in a double integral the points which go into the evaluation of the integration come from a 2d planar surface the domain lies entirely on a plane however a plane is only one kind of surface there are other surfaces as well What if our domain lies on sphere? Cone? Paraboloid? What to do if we have to calculate integrations over these non-planar surfaces? You might want to calculate the total flux of electric field out of these surfaces. This is what leads to the concept of a surface integral. The surface S can be any surface in space. Even in multidimensional space a surface is a 2d entity and can be expressed completely and uniquely by two parameters u and v this helps us to convert a surface integral into a double integral geometrically it is similar to stretching and flattening out a surface into a plane on u and v axis now after converting surface integral to double integral You can calculate area of sphere by just summing up area of tiny pieces of these rectangles. And this summation is easily done by double integral. To calculate the area of this sphere, just remove the scalar function or make it to 1. Now, let us take an example of another surface, a cone. This cone is plotted according with this equation. It is plotted in a 3D space. You can find the area of this cone by using this surface integral. But it's hard to compute. You need to sum up every tiny rectangles throughout the surface of a cone in 3D space. But you can convert this surface integral to a double integral. Parametrizing this cone will just transform the 3d surface to a 2d plane look how you just transformed x y z coordinate space to a uv plane now you can use double integral to compute its area you can think of triple integrals using the concept of mass and density let's say density of this sphere varies throughout the volume 
If density at each and every point is given by this scalar function, then the triple integral of this density function over the entire volume of our sphere gives the total mass of this sphere. Here, we are summing up all of the point densities inside the region of the object and the sum of the densities gives the total mass. Now if the density of this sphere has constant value of 1 throughout the volume, then calculating the triple integral gives us the volume of the object. The mass and volume of the object in this case would be same. And this is a volume integral. Thus the volume integral is just a triple integral with the scalar field defined by constant 1. But this isn't the only way to think about triple integrals, I mean, in terms of density and mass, but it's the one that is probably the easiest to think about.